Hello everyone. This is Rajesh Pichaimani and I'm a solutions architect at Amazon Web Services. Today I'm joined with Chintan Patel, solutions architect from my team. Together we will be presenting you on the topic of S3 vectors. We'll be quickly going over an overview of S3 vectors, followed by two use cases. The first one is S3 vector in the context of knowledge base and drag. And second is the S3 vectors in the context of multimodal examples. And finally, we will conclude with references. What is S3 vectors? It is a first object store to store and query vector embeddings at scale, natively in Amazon S3, which means that there is no extra components needed such as the database or any ETL pipelines. For those who have been using S3 for a very long time, you will know the S3's capabilities of durability, elasticity, and availability. And this continues to the S3 vectors as well, where you will be able to store and query billions of vectors and also achieve subsequent for the similarity searches. As you will be powering up your LLM applications with knowledge base and constantly ingesting data, it is imperative to keep the costs under control. And that's where S3 vector helps you in achieving the cost savings compared to the traditional databases, vector databases. And finally, this is a serverless offering, which means that there is no infrastructure provisioning needed. All you need to do is you can start storing the embeddings and start using it. We'll start with the first use case, the example of creating a vector index and how it can be integrated with knowledge base. And Chintan will be walking us over with the S3 vectors in the context of multimodal examples. Let me switch over to the console and walk to the first one. I'm in the console right now. I want to start with providing the view of the S3 bucket with some publicly available documents here as you're seeing here. This information will be used in the example to query and extract based on our um, information that we are asking to search. In S3, we also have this vector buckets. And in this vector buckets, as you are seeing here, there are different examples. You will be creating vector bucket with a name. And then vector index underneath them, right? So I'm going to use one of the examples here. The vector index can be created here with uh, the dimension value and the distance metric differently and create the vector index. So this is one such that was already created prior to the recording in the interest of time. I will show you how to use this vector um, indexes in the context of data knowledge base. In bedrock, in the build section, you have this knowledge base. Here are different knowledge bases that have been created. I'll pick the most recent one. Just a quick overview of the, uh, the settings. When creating this knowledge base, I have chosen the embeddings model to be Titan text V2. The vector store is chosen as S3 vectors, and then the vector index is the name index under the bucket, vector bucket. Okay. This knowledge base also has two data sources, one data source pointing to S3 bucket, which is having the set of these publicly available documents, as you saw. And the second data source is a custom-based data source where we uh, uploaded the bulk F file and then synced up. Okay, So this is where we are going to query it and get the results out of it. Now that we have seen this setting already, 
let me go over creating a knowledge base and show the setting. Create knowledge base with vector store. You can use the same name as default. The data source can be S3. Also, the data source name can be default. Now, here I'm going to choose the package where it contains the data. It can be your organization data. This is we are simulating that situation here. Leave it, leave the rest as it is. Here is where we are selecting the embedding model. There are two options here. Um, I'm going to choose the quick create new vector store. And then uh, select this vector store type as S3 vectors. Click create and then create the knowledge base. This is what was create was done in going about in creation of this knowledge base. Once the knowledge base is created, the first time because of our configuration, we would have had this entry knowledge base entry, and then here we can have this sync done the very first time, or every time the new data is available here in the source. Or you can also add the data source from here as well. Once we have done that, it is ready to test. When I click test, it takes to the page something like this. The first step is choosing the LLM model for us to start doing the similarity searches. I have pre-created the examples, again, in the interest of time, and there are three examples. The first question is pointing to one set of documents, and here you are seeing the responses. In this question, uh, the responses are based upon this particular document here. The second question is, how does a multi-writer application benefit from native controls? And this question is, the response of this question is extracted from a different um, PDF document and this is this in the same data source. The final question that I want to give an example is, what is the AWS app program and how does it benefit? This question's response is coming from the custom data source that we have already uploaded. So this document has the response to that question, and that's how we are able to extract and show it in this um, testing video. So to conclude, we have seen the first use case of using S3 vector store in the context of knowledge base. And up until now, you would have been using a different vector store, and now you could use S3 to store and index the documents. Now back to the presentation. In the upcoming use case, Chintan will walk us with using S3 vectors in a multimodal scenario, the text as well as the images. Over to you, Chintan. Let's explore how S3 Vector enables the efficient multimodal data storage. S3 Vector offers a powerful solution for organizations managing diverse data types. Whether you are working with images, text documents, or a mixed content, S3 Vector allows you to store all your multimodal data in a vector format while maintaining the cost efficiency. On my screen, you can see uh, several sample records demonstrating these capabilities. Notice how some entries contain image data while other stores text only information. If you look at this item, uh, it stores, it has the text and image data both while other items doesn't have any image, it just have a text information. In my demonstration, you can see only 17 records, but 
in your production environment you can have tens and thousands of uh, records containing image only data or text only data or combination of both let let's explore the powerful search capabilities of an s3 vector i will search records containing an artificial intelligence as you can see it is searching through my repository and has returned top five records which are matching to the query i can further enhance the search capability by using a filters so i am adding a category filters which is which should be technology as you can see it has written only uh, two records because these records are take to the technology category i can also search my repository by providing the image and it will scan my repository to find all records which are closely re related to that image so in summary s3 vector transforms how organization handle the multiple data by combining the scalability and the cost effectiveness of an s3 with advanced vector search capabilities whether you are building an ai application managing content libraries or creating a recommendation systems s3 vector provides the foundation for intelligent data retriever across the text imaged and mixed content types in our upcoming video series we will dive deep into s3 vectors cutting edge capabilities we will walk you through the latest features like metadata filtering access management and security we will show the integrations with sagemaker bedrock and open search we will showcase the real world success stories from e-commerce healthcare and medic media companies that are transforming their businesses finally i would like to conclude with the references here is the aws official documentation for s3 vectors where you can stay connected with the latest and greatest capabilities of s3 vectors and finally we want to thank you for your time hope you like the session and happy building on aws thanks a lot bye